Hi again. Uh, this is continued uh, from uh, for the Cuban government uh, regarding the project I wanted to do. I wanted to name it uh, La Colina Abwa. I forgot to mention that means the grandma's hill. Babino Burdo is the name of the hill for my town. Uh, Darventa, Babino Burdo. Uh, I also wanted to mention, I forgot to show you the kind of uh, thing I wanted to build, the kind of plane I wanted to build. So here, here is the, uh, you see it would be uh, similar to, uh, somewhat to SR-71. This is look from the, the what Americans have. It, it would be simple. Simple two-engine thing, we can, you know, just slap it together or whatever. Uh, no weapons on it, no nothing, just a little a little bit threatening military look to it, that's all. There is also something I had in that letter to the United Nations. I knew that all those experiments I suggested to them would have been expensive, so I gave them like a little script for the movie or for the book if they want to hire somebody. Like Hollywood makes money like that big time. So, to... Uh, to make it, but since they never answered, and I've already copyrighted for, for this year for myself, I'll give it to you if, in case an accident happens to me. Uh, the movie was about uh, uh, like a war in heaven, and the Michael fighting devil, and uh, in, in this uh, fight, he, he gets infected with emotion, with anger, all right, and that renders him uh, unable, dirty inside with this emotion to get back to heaven and he has to live his life on earth uh, as a human in human years time until the moment he realizes who he is through one of his lives and uh, returns to heaven but there is much more to it uh, the script is inside of the of that but that's the, basically the plot so that's what could be done what else all right I also want to involve uh, into a different project like uh, Venezuela and New Zealand that, uh, you know, they, they tried to help us during the war. And uh, I wanted to do a little experiment regarding the uh, finding out if uh, liquid oxygen can be mixed with the rocket, uh, rocket fuel. And if in so, I put it into tablets and, and put it onto the plane at the last moment, have the plane take off. And uh, before it starts, you know, like... Uh, melting down the, the mixture and then punch it at the last moment and then go to space that way. So regular engine takeoff and then this modified tablet of mixture of uh, liquid oxygen and uh, and uh, fuel, uh, oh my, rocket, rocket fuel, not rocket fuel, like a, you know, like a, the harder thing, the rocket, regular rocket thing. So mix it so that it can both uh, have the potency of a, uh, liquid oxygen and uh, the, the tangibility of that rocket mixture, you know, rocket mass thingy. Uh, if we can do that, then we would uh, save on pollution and those tablets could be only used, you know, for the space research and space flight. Um, not for the weapon. That, that's the way I wanted to copyright through UN, but they're never getting back to me there just want to mediate, you know, after the thing happens, they don't want to help, that's the whole point. They don't like media this way, you know, if there was a world peace tomorrow, they wouldn't have breaking news to do, or, it's, God, no wonder people die. Okay, and if this works, I wanted to, uh, also the other way to make money, uh, since our people are not helping it, uh, I could, I could make a recordings like, a compiling of the Muslim music and, you know, sell it for whatever under the same thing and all of these money that, that would be collected would be, uh, uh, you know, sent to either charity or to the projects that I have in mind and uh, basically I would take it and if I take, make that plane and get it, they can put me in jail, I'll steal it. They say gypsy steal anyway, so I'll, I'll steal, I don't care. Help my people. Um, and I'll, I'll take this music and just publish it and make money with it. Inspire my country with it. Already. Uh, also, if this experiment with the rockets worked with Venezuela and New Zealand, uh, we could uh, we could open up uh, some kind of uh, space academy 
you know, do the experiment, whatever, if it was Space Academy in some other country, like Australia. Australia, for example, is criticized a lot because it has very tight foreign, you know, foreigner coming in policies. And instead of criticizing, which is really easy, how about we live up to their sensitivities and open up uh, Space Academy there and uh, see what happens. You know, we can name it Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, some of the good people, something like that. But if they want high standards, we can give them the best pilots the world's got for that, you know, for the Space Academy, and uh, live up to their sensitivities. You know, sometimes people do have the right to do whatever they want in their country, you know. But, uh, tight or not, their, their policies, let's see what happens when you know, your one actually lives up to it. Now the uh, figure out that w we would need like uh, 40 to 50 million euros, which uh, according to uh, this Bosnian charity thing, it would mean like uh, 40 to 50, that would be another half spent on the charity of the country that buys the product, and then plus expenses. About 110 and 100, 120 in profit. Uh, of whatever project we take on. And from that, aircraft, I'm making uh, 20 million. If any more is spent, then we're doing something wrong. It's like basically a few new engines, we can put it and have fun with it together and you know make it look sleek, whatever. It would be like a passenger and it would be used by, uh, I, I chose the pilots from uh, two towns, Bujim and Visoko, very important in our history. Uh, to drive the kids, our kids, like the best students every year, once a year, but it will be named Smari uh, Dobra, so that. There is uh, also this Kotomi's family tombstone, plus there is uh, another memorial I want to make, Volchin uh, Evropsky for the, oh, this is very historical here, and uh, I have like two and a half minutes left, but that together would cost another one million, then, uh, there's an, uh, I'm calling here three wise men. Uh, I wanted to bring uh, people from three uh, religions. One couple from Palestine, uh, from Venice, Roman Catholic, and from Ukraine, Christian Orthodox. Plus one Punjabi family regarding the Romani language. Which they're trying to say uh, we're not good enough. That will bring them original Punjabi, which is where it all comes from. So that they lose credibility in the eyes of my people. You know what I'm saying? It's a foreign influence, negative influence, and I want to just push that off and away from us as far as possible. That's what they've done to our Catholics and Christian Orthodox Croatian in Serbia. Now they don't have the strength of identity to Bosnian as much as they do to, to you know, to the other country. So I'm trying to prevent that kind of psychological warfare happen to my people. That's why I would bring them. As for these uh, Muslims for Palestine, one couple and uh, then uh, one from uh, Venice, priest, Roman Catholic, one from Ukraine, Christian. According to Volumel religion, if you're in slavery, uh, you can recant. It's all right because somebody out there can borrow your religion from you while you're recanting, even if you're converted or whatever. But your religion stays with the person who paid for you. Uh, I'd like to bring these free for anyone in my country, including us, um, who has to pretend to be something else in order to get social uh, privileges. And they would be like, uh, they won't be super praying for, you know, like they would do their life, have their own life, whatever. But every time they pray, they would pray for us, for anybody who has to, uh, you know, uh, pretend to be either Muslim or Christian or whatever, in order to live the life full in equality. And it would be like a religious wall for stupidity of racism in my country. So that would, taking care of them like a, if we put 1 million of euros, that's like 30,000 a year, 30, 32, that would be 7,500 a year to each, either person, if they're not married, or a couple. Punjabi family in Palestine, so that would be two couples, young, healthy people, and, you know, uh, just health, physical, and mental, and that's all I need. So 1 million there, that's like 22 million, and the rest would go to uh, reinstituting uh, Bosanchica, provide settlements with source of water for my people and he built tents that would pose like schools, uh, buying school books and our uh, adults would teach them from whatever they understand from schools, uh, providing settlements with source of water and heat, economical structure to be uh, uh, enacted with the Bosnian economy businesses.